job opens up. What, why initially did you say, hey, this is something I could see myself going to? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar. You know, again, I, you know, uh, I'm not new to the state. So, and I'm not new to the business. Like, I, like I, I understand, and I think one of the things about coaches, they do a good job evaluating what is a good situation and where is, what are the programs or the circumstances that have the highest potential. This is an obvious one. The passion, the facilities, the commitment, the location. I mean, what is there not to like? So uh, I don't want to live in a college town anymore. I've done that. I'm 53. You know, how many metropolitan areas have a college program with this much passion attached to it? When you get to the bigger cities, it's pro sports. You get to the Northeast, college athletics aren't as big as they are in the college towns. This is different. You get a metropolitan area with the passion that you normally associate with a college town. It's unique. When you, when you uh, helped land Miles Turner at Texas, SMU was kind of on the rise. They were one of his finalists. You know, now you're taking over the program. How familiar are you with the program just overall and kind of what it's been through the past about 10 years, really? Well, I know some of the players because they've had good teams. We played here, like I said, and we tried to pick uh, Kendrick up 94 feet. It wasn't smart. <laughs> but... Uh, you know, if you follow the game, you know, and when you're in the state, obviously, they've had some good teams. And I know Coach Brown, uh, uh, not personally, but, I mean, obviously, as a coach. And, you know, Coach Jankovic is a really well-respected man in the profession. So you knew some good stuff was going on here, and I knew the guys on the staff. So I followed it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always had that sort of reputation of a sleeping giant sort of thing, and that's a real thing. And uh, I wanted to be a part of that. What is kind of the key to waking up that giant and taking a really good team last year that was just on the bubble and felt like it should have been in and got left out and then getting it in and then, like you said, making that a regular thing? To where you yeah, yeah I want to be careful trying to prescribe, you know, like, you know, the reality is I, I don't know what the circumstances here. I know they had a good year. They won 24 games. That's pretty good. And why were we a 16 seed and they were out? We shouldn't have been a 16 seed. These guys probably should have been in. Um, I do have a philosophy on scheduling as it relates to those things, and I won't take you through that because we don't have much time. But I do think there's some elements to that that can help your cause. But you still have to win enough games for that to matter. But you can win less games and have a higher profile depending on how you schedule. You know, the, for your speech, it looked like you were really talking a lot to the players specifically. I guess, how did you decide that that was going to be an emphasis for this announcement speech, talking to I never know what I'm going to say. <laughs> the fact that I actually wrote something down is the first time I've ever done that. Yeah. But there was a couple of people I wanted to thank that I didn't want to miss because I have a tendency to ramble. Mm. Otherwise, I just speak from the heart. What, uh, what do you know about the, uh, the, the level of talent here in the high school? Is it how important is it going to be for you guys to really make your mark in the recruiting? Yeah, again, I'm, I'm familiar with the state. Six years. And, it's always had talent, it always will. And I've always believed, and here's one of the things that I do know about SMU. I always believe that Texas is the best basketball state in the country. Grassroots, high school, college, three NBA franchises, top to bottom. Coaches, talent, organizations, events, all of that, without necessarily the rabbit basketball fans that you get in other parts of the country you guys happen to have that 